Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Oddman G here, back again with another match United vs Palace player rating or match rating. Um, so yeah, we're going to get into the match ratings now. Sorry for the delay for this video, guys. Um, it just is what it is. I've just been travelling, but I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Right, okay, so first player first, obviously, is David De Gea in goal. Um, David De Gea gets, I guess, a six for me. Um, I don't think he had to do much really um yeah there wasn't really much that he had to do um a few good saves here over there nothing spectacular couldn't really do anything about the goal to be honest um that's just it i think this is this these, these seem to be the games that david de Gea seems to be at this moment in time like either barely anything and then nothing can do about the goal or he's at fault um which is a little bit concerning considering the fact that there's a contract negotiation going on um, and he's not signed a new contract same with Pogba so yeah um, interesting times um, next 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 um, Ashley Young um, five I guess um, again I don't think that there was anything really an issue with Ashley Young if I'm honest um, Made a good few tackles here and there. He's actually, I mean, I don't know whether this is because um, he's being protected a bit better. Um, with maybe Daniel James going in front of him, being more of a threat, so he's not being as exposed as much. But to be honest, in the games that he's played, Ash Young hasn't been that bad. Um, yes, okay, he's still slow for pace. He's not matching people for pace, and he's and he's um, and he, he can be get, got caught off the ball. Um, but to be honest, yeah, I won't say I think he's been all right. Um, so five for Ashley Young. Um, Harry Maguire, um, six. Um, again, not much to do. Um, we'll come on to Lindelof in a second. Um, he's definitely better than Jones um, and Smalling from a stability point of view. Um, the only thing I would say is that and I, I, while this isn't this isn't necessarily his fault, you know we have yet to keep a clean sheet since the Chelsea game. You know conceded against Wolves, conceded two against Crystal Palace at home, and then conceded again. You know one goal. I mean, okay, we're not conceding tons of goals, um, but the level of opposition we're playing against is is not great. Um, so, you know what's going to happen when we play against Arsenal, your Spurs, is your City, is your Liverpools. You know, so we need to we need to really get tight at the back. Um, Victor Lindelof uh, for um, he really he's been beaten I'm tempted to give three somewhere between a three and a four because once again he's been beaten in the air um, this happened in the Crystal Palace game long ball on top you know you'd think oh okay I've learned from it I was beaten for the first goal with a long ball up you know and once again Victor Lindelof is, is, is beaten in the air again um I don't know whether him and Harry Aguirre need to switch. I don't know. Um, but it just seems that I think teams now seem to be looking at that and going, right, we can expose United by by aerial threats. Um, and that's going to be a problem going forward. So Ivory works on it or we need to get someone in taller. I don't know. Maybe bring in Twan Seab or something. Uh, Wan-Bissaka, um, I'd say, I would say seven, solid seven. I don't think I had a solid game. I don't think I had, had too much to do, to be honest. Um, I don't really have any complaints to Wan Bissaka. Um, I think he's, I think he's 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 our he's our he's our first choice right back. You know, um, no issues there. You know, I think he can improve going forward. I mean, we've always said this, but that is up to the coach. You know, and there's only so much you can go by a natural ability. You know, um, the coach needs to coach you to be better. You know, so and that that's it. Um, Scott McTominay, um, five. Again, I'd argue it's not that... Because the thing is, Pogba's going to get a lot of slate here. Oh, Pogba this, Pogba lost possession, etc. But again, you know, I'm seeing the same thing of Pogba playing deep. He's, he seems to be the deepest playing player and he's carrying the ball forward. That shouldn't be what Pogba should be doing, you know. So, you know... It can almost get the pressure that McTominay played well, but I don't think McTominay played well per se. I just, as I said, I don't really know what McTominay does in this side. 
because we don't seem to have a midfield and he doesn't seem to be there. So I don't really know, you know, what 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 he does, you know, and it, and it, and this is even more poignant with um, Herrera not being here anymore. Um, but five, five. Um, who's next? Um, Pogba. Pogba, I'll give a six. Um, like I said, he's going to get a lot of stick for, oh, he lost the ball, etc. But, yes, okay, he lost the ball, but, you know, he was trying to do something with it, is the point I'm trying to make. I'm not trying to be a pocket for him, but he's trying to do something with the ball. He's trying to create, he's trying to move, he's trying to, you know, just, we had 70% possession most games, just passing sideways and holding on to ball, you know, but not really creating anything. So I'd rather us attempt to create chances and lose the ball than just hold on to the ball and not create anything, which is what our midfield is currently doing right now, which is what as a team are doing right now. And it's not good enough. You know, so I give Pogba six to be honest. You know, I think he's gonna get unduly criticized, um, but I think he deserves he deserves um, at least a six, six point five I'd say. Um Pereira who came in, um Five again. I think he didn't have a good game. I don't. I, I don't think Pereira's had a good game since the new season. Although he, this is in his first start. Um, yeah, Pereira. I don't think he impacted the game much, if at all. Um, had one or few good chances, but nah. I just, I just don't see where Pereira comes into into this. To be honest. Um, we go on to Mata now. Mata will actually give a solid, a solid uh, six, six point five, or same with Pogba. Actually, now I'll say all this because with Mata, um, he's playing in that number ten role, um, and in that number ten role, you know, it's it can't be as bad as you know the brick Jesse Lingard. I think Jesse Lingard has to be dropped from now on. Um, it's not, it's not that Mata had an amazing game, but he had, a, he's had a better game than Lingard has had right now. If you're gonna play a number ten, um, I would play. You know, if we're gonna play with Marshall up top and someone behind him, then you play Matt in that position, not Lingard. Um, and if I was Oli, I place Daniel James on the left and Greenwood on the right and bench Rashford and Lingard. You know, or maybe play Rashford on the left or or on the right, possibly. I don't know. You know, definitely not Matt on the right. Matt can't play on the right, but you can do a decent enough job at number ten. Um, so yeah, Mata, um, Mata six point five. Um, Daniel James, you know, Daniel James gets a seven point five. Brilliant goal, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant goal. For the first goal, I, I yelled, you know, when he did it because it was so good, very, very good. He scored three goals in four, you know, which is, I mean, it's just ridiculous when you think about it, about how, you know, um, commonly our highest goal scorer because it is Daniel James. Um, is basically a night was anyway a nineteen year old championship player from Swansea. You know, you know, what I mean, I'm, that's no disrespect to the championship or or, or to to him, sorry, twenty one year old. Sorry, there's no disrespect there, but I just think it's funny that you know, obviously we've sold Lukaku, we've sold some sold off boy players, and the hope was that the likes of Rashford, obviously Marshall's injured to be fair, and he has been so I won't criticize him, but Lingard, the front players, would chip in with goals. And right now, it's Daniel James who's, who's, who's doing that. Um, and it's Marcus Rashford that's on the 350k a week or 300k a week salary. So, yeah, um, I just, it's it baffles me. But Daniel James, seven without a doubt. Um, who is next? Or oh, last? I'm missing one. Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford gets a four for me. He needs to be dropped like Jesse Lingard, to be honest, guys. Um, it's not He's not good enough. Um, I don't think he can play. I'm seeing now, like, you know, I don't think he, he, he can play as the main man. Um, I think Greenwood should be in that position, I think. I think he's got a better touch. I think he should be given an opportunity, but Oli doesn't seem to want him. He seems to want to carry on, plod on, and that's fine. But we're losing points to Oli. Um, so... This is I don't think Rashford has had since the Chelsea game. Um I don't think he's had a good game really. I I, I don't, I really don't. Um so 
um, and we and this negativity is 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 ongoing. So, you know, if I was Ollie, I drop Rashford, give them some break, give them some time, give them some competition to get back into it, not just a buy in. Okay, yeah, I like you, just get into the squad. No, 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 it doesn't work like that. Um, drop him, like let's just Lingard and see what happens. Um, they're just not they're just not good enough at this moment in time. Um, it's been four games in and they've had, I'd argue, at least three bad performances. And I don't think Lingard was good in the Chelsea game really. So so there we go. Um am I missing anyone? I think that's everybody. James Matter. Montomini, yeah, that's everybody. Um so Ollie. Ollie. Um five um, I think Oli again is, is, is too late. I don't know if that's because of the lack of squad depth. Because last season, um, he would bring on the car because we're going down like quite quickly. So I don't know whether it's the combination of lack of squad depth and also not trusting the youth. Um, sorry about the background noise there. Um, but yeah, guys, um, I think he's been slow at substitutions. You know, I don't know whether it, it's a, a safety thing. I'm not sure. Um, and tactically, I just can't see how we can, you know, it's sort of like we have a one, we don't have a plan B, you know, we need to score first and then keep on scoring, but if they score first, or if they, if we concede, then it's like, oh, how do we react, how do we respond, you know, which isn't a really good sign of a team, you know, and even under Mourinho last year, you know, there were many games last season, um, and one or two under Ole, you know, where we go down and we were able to come back. You know, why Why can we not do that anymore? I just don't understand. Um, so, yeah, five for me for Oli. Uh, thanks again for listening, guys. Really appreciate it for the, for the um, player ratings. Um, stay tuned. We've got a video coming up um, on Bruno Fernandes. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, if you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter at WeUnitedX. Smash that notification button to get the latest videos. Have a nice evening. <laughs> evening, morning guys and cheers.